And what we think is that people can take us to the place we want to go. And people can give us what we need, provision. And people can tell us who we are, identity. And people can give us purpose. And people can set our parameters. But there is only one person who can, will, and has everything you need. And that's God. I, I want to show you this. As we leave, you just think about all the relationships you have in your life. And you think about people you come in contact with. This little orange ball represents people. Like how many times we go to school and we meet people and they tell us our genes aren't cool and the teacher tells us that we learn a little funny and we have a brother that picks on us and we get a little older and then we allow people to tell us you should go to this school and you should be around these people and you should, you should stay around him. Hey, if you wanna really succeed, you, you, should, you should be around them. And then we, we come into our adult lives and we look at what we should have by 19 and what we should have by 20. Come on, some of y'all are those like, I'm 24. I should have a house. I should have a car. I should have kids. Come on, how many of us have looked at our life and said we should be here? Why? Why? Because of what people have said. And, and you start to look at your whole life and you start to see what others are doing and you look at Instagram and you look at Facebook and you see and you know people leave but what happens is this is our vessel and what's filling us is what other people have told us we should be we've let society the world others fill us up. When I look at the word, 2 Peter 1, 3, it says by his divine power, by God's divine power, God has already given us everything we need. I want you, I want you to see the, those two words, everything we need for living a godly life. Let me tell you when he gave it to you. When you received all of this by coming to know him see pastor mike i got all these people's opinions i got all this other stuff how do i get this out by coming to know him before a person if you get to know the creator he'll begin to feel all the areas that are filled by people's opinions attitudes what i'm saying is all you have to do to see God start to move things that have been in your life out is spend more time with him how do you do that pastor Mike through the word by prayer talking to him letting him talk back to you down thank you so, so this is this is what living water looks like God I'm, I'm just gonna start reading my word every day and it doesn't feel like anything's happening it doesn't feel like anything changed. It just feels a little juicy on Sundays, but real dry throughout the week. But anything that is worth doing is worth doing continually. And so that's why you have to get the discipline. And you know, there's some point that the things in our life that have been defining us, it starts to be overtaken. See, where my identity was from people, it starts to become defined by God. But what happens when we are better than we used to be and we stop letting God pour into our lives? What we look like is lukewarm. So I can post anything on Insta stories because I don't have my identity. But from afar, what's more visible? From back, I mean, if I was to take somebody to the end of the parking lot and say, what do you see? They may not even know there's anything in here. All they would see is these orange balls. The same way that they see our inconsistencies and our, our being hypocritical. And they see our flesh. And what God says, you don't have to feel judged by that. Just keep pouring me over it.
just, just keep coming to church. Just get in the small group. Just, just allow me to overtake you and overrun everything. Now, now watch. This is my favorite part. This, this is my favorite part. I said, this is my favorite part. I said, this is my favorite. When the lies come back, they only can stay on the surface. No, see, when, when you're filled up with God, when the enemy comes to lie to you that you're not something and you can't do something and you will never be. I don't care how much I try. They can't, it can't stick. I came to encourage somebody. Allow God to put you in a place. Allow him to give you a purpose. Allow him to define your identity. Allow him to be your provision. Allow him to set your parameter. And allow him to fill you up.